Welcome. In this video, we'll see how addition of two numbers can be achieved on a quantum computer. The algorithm I present here is one of many algorithms for quantum addition. This one does not use quantum Fourier transform. I'll present the algorithm that uses quantum Fourier transform in a later video. The algorithm I present mimics how we calculate addition classically. Let's review the binary addition algorithm through an example. The addition begins from right to left. We select the first bit of each number. We need another variable to store the carryover. Initially it is set to zero. We start with taking the XOR of the first bits. The output is stored as the first bit of the sum. The next carryover bit is set to 1 as bits added are both 1. Carry on this process step by step from right to left as follows. We'll implement the following transformation where the work Q bits will store carryover information. Notice that the output A plus B may need one extra qubit to store the number than B. The circuit will be designed such that the junk qubits are set to zero after the carryover information is no longer needed. Let us first get the part of the circuit that adds two bits A, B and a carryover bit C. This can be done using two C not gates as follows. The first C not gate adds A, on top of B. The second C not gate adds C, on top of A plus B. This circuit does not compute the carryover for the next bit pair addition. We represent this circuit by the following U plus gate. The next step is to implement the part of the circuit that computes the carryover bits. This information depends on the previous carryover qubit C, and input qubits A, and B. We store the next carryover bit in an addition qubit that starts in state 0. The first CC not gate is to check whether both the input bits are 1. If they are 1 then this will contribute 1 to the carryover bit. The previous carryover qubit C, gets added to the sum of input bits. This changes the next carryover bit only when both C, is 1 and the sum A plus B is 1. To account for this we first add A, on top of B, and then apply second C C not gate with qubit C, and qubit A plus B is control. I encourage you to stop the video and verify that this approach does compute the carryover for the next bit pair addition. We represent this circuit by the following U carry gate. Here is the circuit that implements the addition of three bit numbers. I'll describe this circuit now. The first step is to apply the carry gate on the first qubit pair with one qubit for initial carryover and one qubit to store the carryover bit for the next step. Once this next carryover bit has been used for computation for rest of the terms, we apply the inverse carry gate to reset these qubits back to initial state. Then we apply the sum gate to get the first bit of sum. The carryover bit computed by the first carry gate is fed as previous carryover bit for the second carry gate. Now this carry gate computes carryover bit using the next bit pairs of the input. Again this new carryover bit is set back to zero after it has served its purpose.
For the last bit pair, the carryover gate is not inverted as we want to use the carryover bit as the last bit of the output. So we just use a C not gate to set A3 plus B3 back to B3. This way the circuit resets the intermediate junk Q bits back to zero. This circuit uses 3 and plus 1 Q bits in total to compute the addition of A and B. In the next video, I'll describe quantum Fourier transform. Later, I'll use it to add two numbers using only 2 and plus 1 Q bits. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.